Grade 5, Module 1, Lesson 11, Exit Tickets Number 1 and 2. We're going to be multiplying decimal fractions by single digit whole numbers using both the place value chart and an area model. Number 1 asks us to solve by drawing disks on a place value chart. We're then going to have to write an equation and express the product in standard form. So we'll start with the place value chart. I'm going to need my ones and tenths places. And the question tells us that we need to make four copies of three tenths. To, sh to show three tenths, I would put three disks in my tenths place. And I need to copy that four times or have four copies of them. So that's one copy. Now I have two copies, three, and four copies of three tenths. Now I know that ten tenths is equal to one one. So I'm going to regroup ten of those tenths into my ones place. So three, six, nine, and one from the bottom makes ten. Ten tenths is equal to one one. So now I have one in my ones place and two left over in my tenths place. When I bring down the decimal, it gives me my answer in standard form. One and two tenths. Now to write the equation, I'm going to go back to what they gave me. I see that they asked for four copies of something. When they asked for copies, I know that I'm going to be multiplying. They wanted four copies of three tenths. So three tenths in standard form is zero decimal three. So it, as an equation, four times three tenths equals one and two tenths. Number two asks us to complete the area model and then find the product. It's important to know how they're breaking down the area model. The first number is always going to go on the outside of the area model. This is the area model, the rectangle. It's breaking down the other number into partial products, into pieces. So three times, this is always going to go here. It's also always going to be the first number inside the area model. The other number is going to be broken up by units into the top pieces of the area model. The units are also indicated inside the area model. So the question has 9 and 63 hundredths, or 9 ones, 6 tenths, 3 hundredths. So I'm going to break that up into partial products. I have nine ones, six tenths, and three hundredths. When I add all of those up, nine ones plus six tenths plus three hundredths, I would get this same number. So now that I know what numbers go on top of the area model, I need to bring those down to do my multiplication. So the first box is going to be 3 times 9 ones. The second box is going to be 3 times 6 tenths. And the third box is going to be 3 times 3 hundredths. So 3 times 9, on the underneath now I would write, is 27 ones. I'm going to add that to my second box. 3 times 6 is 18 tenths. And I'm going to add that to my last box. 3 times 3 hundredths is 9 hundredths. So now I need to add these up. I have 27 ones. I have 18 tenths. And it's important to remember, 18 tenths, my last digit needs to end in the tenths place. So the decimal needs to be between the 1 and the 8. 18 tenths and 9 hundredths. And I added zeros as place value holders so that I can line up all my decimals. 0 plus 0 plus 9 is 9. 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 1 plus 0 is 8. And bring down the 2, bring down the decimal. So my answer for 3 times 9 and 63 hundredths is 28 and 89 hundredths.